guys and welcome back to my channel. <coughs> I think I just inhaled a bug. My Between bugs flying down my throat and cars driving by, I am never going to get through this. And my husband's like killing something in the garage, beating something with a hammer, I don't know. Anyway, my name's Keely, and in today's video, we're going to be decorating my porch for fall. I am super excited about this because fall is my favorite season. It's the very beginning of all of the holidays, and, and that's just super exciting for me because I love fall, and I love holidays, and I love from now until the very end of the year. I hope you guys are excited. I'm going to be pressure washing. I'm going to be redecorating, taking everything down and putting all new stuff up for fall, giving it a really fall vibe out here. And then I'm also gonna be doing like a really fun DIY um, that anybody can do. And it's just a cute little thing that you can make for fall for really inexpensive. So I hope that you will enjoy that. And if you're new, please subscribe. Make sure you like my video and comment down below and say hello because I love to chit chat with you guys and I love to know that you're watching. So make sure to tag me on Instagram if you're watching and tag me in your decor too because I love to see that as well. So anyway, without further ado, let's get started on this porch makeover because it needs it, girl. To start, I have to clean the front porch. I didn't decorate it for summer because time didn't allow that. So I still have all my spring stuff up and it really needs to be pressure washed. We live in North Carolina, so it's very humid and it gets super like grungy out here to be honest. Pressure washing though is easily my favorite chore to do because it is so satisfying. I'm gonna link my pressure washer down below. I always get a lot of questions about it. It's a good one and she's not super expensive. new here my name is Keely I'm 30 years old and my middle name is really rainbow I love sweatpants coffee and making holiday magic for my kids I make YouTube videos about motherhood DIYs home decor and what it's like to be me a slightly domestic and really relatable mom of two I have two daughters who are four and nine and a husband who works in the oil field which means he is hardly ever here Sometimes I drink wine more than I drink water in a day. My house is what I like to call lived in, and I'm only a Pinterest mom when it's easy. So if you've not subscribed, hopefully you will. You can also find me on TikTok and Instagram for more DIYs, our travels, and day in the life videos. Anyway, let's get to know each other. First question, I gotta know, do you dress up for Halloween or is it just the kids? Cause I am definitely that mom in the neighborhood who dresses up and sometimes people look at me crazy, y'all. So I wanted to show y'all what I have to put outside before I actually start putting it up. I'm gonna do something a little different this year, so hopefully it will turn out looking really good. I still wanna get some real pumpkins, but the stores don't really have a whole lot out yet. So hopefully I can find those in the next day or so and add those to this before you guys see the finished product. So I have this sign that I painted a couple years ago to go up on the door. I've got some fall foliage they're like uh, garlands i'm gonna try to put those around the door and see how it looks there's my flags i've got a little hello fall one and then i've got a snoopy one i've got this really cute pottery handmade pumpkin i have this pumpkin i he's kind of halloween-ish but he's gonna go out now because i just like how he looks then i have this like fake pumpkin that is carvable but i just like him then i've got some hay 
I've got this sign that says like crackling fires and leaves and stuff like that. Another little pumpkin sign and then my hay pumpkin mat. This one came from Ross for $8, but I do know that Kirkland's also has one like this. And then I'm also going to put out a couple lanterns. I have several lanterns that my mom gave to me because she likes lanterns like I do. So I'm going to be putting some lanterns out as well. I haven't decorated the entryway yet, but that'll be in the next video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But this is all the stuff I'm about to put out and see how it looks. Oh, I also have some mums that I picked up. They're not fully bloomed yet, but like I said, it's still early. It's only like September 3rd. So... This is the mums that I have and hopefully they will look nice when I put them out. So let's get started. This year I wanted to put these leaves up around the door. I have had these leaves for years, probably since my very first house by myself and I hardly ever use them, but thanks to Pinterest, I figured out that I could try them around the door and see how it looked. Can't know until you try, right? Anyway, I love getting ideas from Pinterest or TikTok, and I love seeing what other people are decorating and how they're doing it. I just think it's one of my favorite things about social media. There's so much amazing inspiration to be had, and I love that no matter who you are, you can so easily put your ideas out there and share them with other people. That's why I just love this all so much, and I love sharing my ideas with y'all and seeing yours as well, so make sure to tag me when you decorate. So I grabbed these mums from Lowe's this year. That was the only place that had them out this early. I gotta decorate early, y'all. Hopefully I can find some more of them to go out here because I love mums, although I am at the point in my life where I might just invest in fake ones so I don't have to worry about killing them because halfway through the season, I feel like they're always dead. Tell me I'm not alone. If you have any questions about products, make sure to check down below. I try to link everything that I use or at least similar things. A lot of the items in this video I've actually had for a really long time, so it's kind of hard to find links for them, uh, but I'll try to link something similar if I don't have the specific item. Right. If you're not subscribed, I want to let you know what you'll be seeing from my channel in the next few months and then hopefully you can join in the family so you don't miss anything. I don't want you to miss nothing, y'all. I have a few more fall videos coming up after this. Next is another indoor fall decorate with me where I'll be sharing decorating my entryway, my new fall coffee cart, and sharing how to make a fall charcuterie board. After that, I'm planning on doing a fall home tour so you can see my fall decor in all of its glory before I switch it up for Halloween because that's when spooky season starts, which is I'll be sharing decorating the inside of my house for Halloween as well as all my outdoor Halloween decorations, which are gonna be so awesome. So make sure to turn your notifications on so you don't miss out. So I went to Lowe's today because I wanted to make a little sign to go right here. So I'll show you guys like this is the walkway leading up and I just felt like there was nothing right here. So I thought like maybe a sign or a wreath or something, but I settled on a sign. So I bought this one by eight by six from Lowe's and I'm about to stain it. Then I'm gonna use my Cricut to print out some kind of saying like hello fall or welcome or I don't know, it's fall, which is uh, something like that and put it on here. Maybe I'll put like pumpkin spice forever. I don't know. I'm gonna stain it and cut it to the right size and then do all that. So just a little easy thing to do. I think this board was like $11, um, which is kind of pricey, but you know, you guys know that wood's a little pricey right now. So I just, I wanted to get a good quality piece. There was cheaper ones and 
This one's cute because it has a little hole in it. <laughs> so I got her and now I'm going to turn it into a sign. So let's go. It's like a super easy DIY for fall that you can definitely do for just a little bit of money because even if you didn't have a Cricut, you could probably get stencils or something from like, I think Dollar Tree even has stencils and then you could stencil what you want in here. You could freehand it of the Cricut. So I'm gonna use that because your girl doesn't have the best handwriting. So let's get started. For my sign, I'm really excited. I started out by sanding it so that the stain would go on nicely. That's a good trick, it's, you gotta do that. I love my little hand sander from Walmart. It was only 20 bucks, but it has lasted me through so many DIYs, y'all. So and then I'm gonna use a Minwax stain that I already had. It's a pretty light color, but it actually looks really nice when you put it on. I love easy DIYs like this because literally anyone can do this. The total cost of me was like 15 bucks and it turned out so cute. So if you've been following along on Instagram or in my videos lately, you probably know that I recently quit my full-time job. Up until now, I was a full-time restaurant manager for a corporate restaurant chain working over 40 hours a week. On top of that, I also created YouTube videos and other social media content, was a solo parent most of the time because my husband is always gone, and I had to keep my sanity. It was a struggle, y'all. My mental health wasn't the best, I was constantly stressed, and I really never felt fulfilled. So here I am. I'm a week into my new chapter and I am feeling pretty good. I'm still struggling to learn to slow down and take better care of myself and I'm dealing with guilt from quitting my job, um, that's for sure, but I'm working on it and feeling pretty positive. I really hope I can keep creating full time, honestly. I love this space so much, I love you guys. And so hopefully this will be able to be something that I can do full time because I feel that this is so much better for my soul. I just wanted to update y'all on how I was doing because I know that you guys care and you're my friends and I just figured I would let y'all know. So. That's that's where I'm at. I will leave the fonts I use down below as well as the size of the letters. I had some questions about that when I posted about this on Instagram. I'm really not super great with my Cricut yet, but I'm trying. I'm definitely still learning. So let me know if you have any questions about what I did or you know, I'll try my best to answer it. I'm definitely down for suggestions of cute things to make for the upcoming holidays though because I love using it and I feel like there are so many options and it's so versatile, but there's so much to learn too. I would throw on a ribbon to spice things up. Pumpkin spice it up, I guess, you know, since it's fall. In hindsight, I probably should have gotten all wired ribbon, but this was a super easy way to make a bow. Thank you, TikTok, another thing I've learned from there. So you just fold them over and use a zip tie. Uh, much easier than tying it or whatever else people do. And then I stapled it onto the board and I'm really proud of myself for this one, y'all. It looks like I spent at least 30 bucks, you know, at the store. I, I really just, it, it looks cute, okay? I'm proud of myself.
right guys, well that is it. That is the makeover. As you can see behind me, everything is done. It is finished, it is fall, we are vibing, we are pumpkin spicing, we are we are just living our best life out here. I could drink some apple cider. I wanna, I wanna eat a whole pumpkin right now. So I'm excited, it's fall, the mums are out, the pumpkins are up, we're doing it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. As always, I love hanging out with you. Make sure you go follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more behind the scenes of our everyday life and all of the shenanigans. And you know what? If nobody's told you today, you're doing a great job. Whatever you're doing, you're killing it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. May you always find your way to higher ground May you always keep your head held up high Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference, oh, you make me strong Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Ordering a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong your seeds and watch them grow the light will always know where to go you will always keep my heart and soul strong you're the first thing in the morning